Areki Kobo. I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into the latest What's New in DevTools and explore Chrome 127, 128, and 129 updates. First up, a quick announcement. On top of the US and other countries, Console Insights is now available in Europe. You can get helpful explanations from Gemini, Google's AI model, by simply clicking the light bulb next to any errors or warnings. Next up, check out the brand new landing page in the performance panel. How about a brand new host as well? Me. You can view your metrics live as you interact with the site. Scroll, click, and watch the data update in real time. Load a page and observe the performance panel and the Core Web Vitals metrics update live as the page loads. Pretty cool, right? As you click, it will capture the interactions as well. You can also set up to view and compare the metrics against real user data side by side. Check out this doc to learn more. Not only that, we've also made improvements to the network track to streamline your workflow and minimize context switching. Hover over a network request, and you get helpful tooltips showing the details you need instantly. Even better, it will show you the initiators when you click on it. These arrows help you trace the tree of network requests. Also, you can press Command F to search and highlight network requests as you go. That wasn't possible before. Did you know you can customize new tracks in the performance panel? Really? Could I even make a Corgi track if I wanted? A uh, what? A Corgi track! Uh, OK. In your application, you can already track custom performance data with performance.mark and performance.measure. The cool thing here is you can now pass in the parameter to customize how this data shows up in the performance panel. I can even add a Corgi track if you really want, change the track color, and add some descriptions. In the performance panel, do a recording, and this is how the data will show up. Frameworks and platforms can even use this to have their own track for importing timing details relevant to them. Pretty cool, right? You can even customize the performance marker. Check out this link to learn more about how to utilize this extensibility API. What are you doing? I was going incognito. I might. OK, OK, bad joke, but seriously, Let's get back to making things look pretty. The CSS Anchor Positioning API is coming to the web, starting with Chrome. And of course, you can use DevTools to inspect that. No JavaScript needed. The CSS Anchor Positioning API lets you natively position elements relative to other elements. Imagine you have a tooltip button. You can use this syntax to anchor the pop-up on the bottom right of the button. Let's inspect that in the Styles tab. You can hover over the position anchor to highlight the anchor element or click on it to jump to the anchor element. Check out this page to try it yourself. Furthermore, Chrome introduces two new scroll snap events that give you greater control over element snapping behavior. You can easily debug these events using event listener breakpoints in DevTools. Observe these two boxes to visualize the scroll snap events as I scroll to the next number. To debug them, you can go to the Sources panel, expand the event listener breakpoints, and enable these two checkboxes. Try to scroll again. The debugger will first pause at the scroll snap changing function. You can resume and pause in the next scroll snap change event. Time for a bonus tip. This is a question from Brian. Is there a way to copy or export a list of URLs in the network panel? Yes, there is. Let's say you want to export a list of just JavaScript and CSS. You can hold the command key and select both JS and CSS. Then, right-click to copy the listed URLs. Paste it, and there you go. All right, that's all for today. Don't forget to check out our blog and explore all the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> Should I do this? <laughs>